really excited to take it out. Kind of a little bit nervous, but really, really excited. Big change was I redid the exhaust so that they can actually fit. And this is more similar to a regular style through hole for a boat. I have more parts ordered for this, but they're not here today, so. to drip water or rocks or sand into there. My heart is pounding. That thing sounds sick. The whole shot, like it decapitated out. Once I was moving and punched it, it was like instant light speed. It sounds like it spools up really quick. my first runs with it of course we have the smoke we gotta let the smoke out that was pretty intense definitely a huge spike of adrenaline it's a completely different beast with the turbo on there it's just it's gnarly it's crazy so I hit 10 psi of boost which is higher than I want to see on the six liter with stock ring gap so I'm gonna plug into it with the computer we're gonna look at some data and uh, see what's going on from uh, a guy watching it, it looks insane. Uh, I don't know, I don't even know what to say. It's like the throttle is directly connected to speed. Not the engine, just speed. And you really didn't get into it that hard. It seems like maybe you got maybe half throttle for like one second. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's that new turbo smell. Yeah, like heating up all the fingerprints and burning them off and stuff. <laughs> I mean, who knows? So you guys won't be able to see, but there's a little bit of water in the hull. Not a whole lot, but it's more than I expected to see. I kind of think I'll just throw it on the trailer. We'll take it up and put it on the hose and uh, see if we see any leaks or anything. So I brought the ski home. This is the first time it's made any kind of a pass. So of course I had to adjust the tune. It's not a whole lot that's changed other than we're on different springs, a little bit different tune and springs. I mean, wastegate springs. Trying to calm it down a little bit. Also, of course, this air filter, I'm not, you know, 100% pleased with how it turned out, but it'll keep me from kicking rocks and sand into the intake when I get on the ski. So it'll probably be running half the boost that it was the other day. So it won't be as insane. I loved how it ran the other day, but I need to make sure all the tuning of the fuel cells is right before we kick it up higher. <laughs> up. 
this is what that looks like. It definitely didn't look as crazy as it did the other day when it had double the boost. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what the boost will be at because you change the springs and you're not really... It's not like one to one for when you change it. No, no. Like last time we were on 8.5 pound springs and it was like 10 and a half pounds boost. So it's cutting at six pounds boost, which means the gates are opening at six. So that's good. That's right where I want to be for these... Uh... <laughs> low boost runs six pounds huh is that a certain amount of horsepower that's easy to predict with a six liter in a can if any of the guys watch holdner's videos they'll have an idea of where it's at <laughs> our little uh, shot from a dig. This, I, I had to go with just full throttle to really even film you when you pinned it, and I couldn't keep up at all. You just blew, absolutely blew this thing's doors Dude, off. I, yeah, so basically I'm just doing tuning runs, so we're not doing full hits or anything. And I just wanna see where we're at. That, gotcha. Uh, yeah.
So like I'll roll up at about one third throttle and then when I get by you, I'm trying to open it up so you can kind of see the acceleration. Yeah. And it'll cut, it's just like, ew. You might want to look at it. Yeah, we need to go back and check. This seat gets really hot. Gearbox box <laughs> is kind of interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, all the fluid is right there. 66. Yeah, I'm worried that that was like our final run of the day. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you have no idea what it is. No, it seemed like something in the jet pump, maybe. Like the impeller vibrated loose or something. Yeah, just weird. Just a weird, weird thing. I've got the ski torn down. There's no obvious signs of anything going on. Pretty confident that the top's gonna have to come off to figure it all out. So I pulled the pump apart and one of the stator veins ripped off. This right in there, that's missing a chunk. I mean, that'll definitely make it vibrate. This didn't put a rock through it. It just broke that vein off. So that's, that's freaking weird. Like that. Yeah, that's weird. Impeller removed from the jet pump. There are no marks on it from passing something through the pump, but it did chip that section off. If I order parts, which I am going to do, I have to wait for a while. Yeah, I want to get more runs going while I'm waiting for parts. So I do have an aluminum welder. Definitely not perfect, but it'll work for now. Liz is here and this, she was helping me get the gearbox apart. When I checked the fluid, it looked like this. And it's supposed to be blue. That's metal shavings and burnt gear oil. This hole right here got machined out by this part right here is what happened. For free. And then put all the shavings in the gearbox and that, that was bad. Fortunately, I buy the bearings in bulk and I have extra gears because the gears got a little chewed on. Um, not terrible, but not great. Here are some of the parts we just replaced in the gearbox and now I gotta run it on the hose and make sure that everything's okay. <laughs> You want to be on the video? Yeah. We replaced all the bearings and gears in the gearbox. Welded a piece of the jet pump. Got the waterproof filter cover.
got like for whatever reason it thinks it's running lean but it's not so it's just dumping tons of fuel into it so and we we're in the back. abyss we can't look at it yeah we gotta go back to shore Freaking frustrating. Man. We got two different things going on with the ski. One, it's getting a bunch of water in it, and the other one is the air fuel ratio is going crazy. So I kind of think they're interrelated, like there's water getting in something or getting in a sensor where it's not supposed to. So we'll see if we can find the water leak and we'll just go from there. day of stuff today yeah i've had pretty good luck with the mha 1200s things are going awesome Miles going along. yeah awesome stuff and a gun it's a um boy that mechanic has a has a gift of an engine to work on he has a new engine race piston Oh, yeah. Yucky. Milo, what do you think? Oh, yucky. I can see in the data that it was giving a false lean condition, so it's kind of pegging the uh, AFR sensor. So I just sort of cleaned up, redid the V band on that exhaust, and then I just looked through the tune and just was trying to clean up all the weird stuff it tried to do when it was running bad.
How was it riding with Jacob? I call him Christopher Columbus. Really? That's his new nickname? Sure. What did it look like from your perspective? It looked like power. Raw power. What did it look like to you? I'm just trying to hold on. Waiting for the water to die down a little bit here. Hoping for some smoother water before we uh, do a little bit more with the VA ski. Previous video will be on the top. But underneath it will be the next video when it is available for you guys to watch.